All right, I'm here with Ben Kitesh from Ethical Regal. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah, okay, hi. Can you share us a little bit more about the company? Yeah, so uh, uh, the company's name is Wall Street Studios. Uh, it's a studio which is uh, into the services like 3D development, uh, 3D modeling uh, for character development, uh, animation services, uh, 2D, 3D game development. Um, we started off with services and then um, uh, we partnered with a company called Ecomi. Uh, now, this is a company that has a product by the name VV Collectibles and uh, they partnered with Marvel, DC Comics and Disney. We got to work with them and that was our inspiration. Thanks to my friend David Yu who will also be a character in my uh, entertainment app Epi Epico Regal. Uh, now, I'll talk about my product which is uh, Epico Regal. Um, so, Epico Regal is uh, an entertainment app. Uh, which is built on emerging technologies like AI, machine learning, uh, blockchain, augmented reality and virtual reality. Now, uh, it's a brand in itself. So, Epico is the brand and we have created an ecosystem wherein we have, um, uh, you know, the game and then we have like the Epicoverse. We have, um, uh, we have our marketplace which goes by the name Epico.market. Nice. Yeah. Sounds like a lot that's going on yeah, right yeah. now. But anything exciting, any projects that you can share with us is going to be coming up in the second half of the year? Uh, so yes, we, we have uh, Epico Bricks, which is again a mobile application. Uh, we have like the chess and Ludo version of uh, uh, Epico uh, Regal itself. Uh, because our game is totally based on Indian mythology. And uh, uh, you know, we want to um, have uh, other games related to uh, the Indian mythology itself and expand on the brand of Epico. So we have those three products and um, um, you know, I'm to, uh, like I mentioned, Epico Regal is built on emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, uh, augmented reality and blockchain. So we also would love to build a, a blockchain based game uh, for Epico, uh, the brand itself. Yeah. Nice. Looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When it happens. Now, yeah. Uh, what do you think sets Epico Regal apart from the other companies out there? Um, so we started off Epico Regal as a game, uh, but then you know it converted into an entertainment app because there is cinematic comics, uh, again based on the 45 um, uh, mythology characters that we created. Uh, now the the tower defense game is again uh, uh, you know uh, a very uh, addictive game because uh, um, we though it's based on Indian mythology, we have uh, users from uh, USA, uh, the Spanish community. Uh, Europe and uh, UK who, who basically are the top players in the game. I was a top player until last month till they pushed me down to the ladder and I right now I am at 11 or 12 probably. So I don't, I'm not able to match them. Uh, and it shows that the game is really very addictive and they, they, they really love our characters because some of them have uh, like created songs with our characters. And you have this augmented reality feature. Uh, so it's much more than a game because you have the tower defense game where you create your deck and you play with your opponent but you also have cinematic comics based on the characters and you have augmented reality where you can basically have like a physical uh, you can have a, a digital toy and you can carry it along with you so you don't have to necessarily uh, you know have a physical toy or physical asset but you can have the same thing in augmented reality and uh, you know again the ecosystem that we have created not just with the digital, uh, uh, you know, products, but also with the uh, physical products, uh, such as the board game that we have, Epico Valley, and then we also have our toys. And uh, thanks to my team for coming up with all the goodies like T-shirts, uh, water bottles, uh, you know, the spaces uh, kit, uh, and then fridge magnets. Uh, so it's been like a complete ecosystem where we want to create another marvel for the east yeah nice. uh, sounds fun and i hope you get to climb back up this yeah, yeah 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 definitely definitely now, how's the experience so far been at the crypto expo um yeah before i answer that question i wanted to mention about the marketplace as well sure. so uh, uh, we have uh, the second product which is epico.market now this particular product is like OpenSea, but here instead of uh, just ethereum we uh, our partner or oh, ecomi they, we accept their token OMI as a payment for all the Epico NFTs listed on our marketplace. So it's like um, it's a it's a marketplace like OpenSea, but we accept OMI tokens. And what we are doing here is we are creating a sustainable uh, system for the whole brand because we reward our players and incentivize our players, and especially for those who uh, win our contests and tournaments and competitions, uh, we are compensating them with the. Uh, to, with 20% of the sales of the NF, Epico NFTs 
we take 20% from that and reward the users with those tokens and ecomi is a omi is a token which is already trading and with a huge volume yeah. on the uh, on the market um, so this is uh, this is a system that we put in place and obviously our nfts when they are bought uh, you get in game assets uh, you get access to the epicoverse uh, you get access to our future products which i just mentioned um, so there's quite a lot uh, you know as such with the ecosystem that we are trying to do and build the brand epico itself um, so yeah that was about the market and uh, to come to your question uh, the crypto expo asia is really amazing because uh, this was planned very suddenly uh, as uh, dwayne had texted me uh, i mean in the month of april and i was like, okay let me go for this uh, expo uh, dwayne is a nice person who has been very uh, helpful in uh, you know uh, giving us a good booth and uh, giving us uh, uh, maximum support uh, providing us maximum support to uh, conduct our uh, uh, the you know conduct our, the event properly and we have also attended crypto expo uh, dubai uh, that was again a very fruitful uh, event uh, and that's the reason i came to crypto expo asia i look forward for him to conduct uh, crypto expo us or crypto expo west and uh, i think he probably has plans to do it in uh, asia in uh, in us maybe in new york uh, but then you know i was suggesting him to do it in uh, uk uh, because i'm i'm from london i'm an innovator there uh, and i could help him uh, you know so i've been discussing with him and uh, i i look forward to attending more events because uh, crypto expo has given me a lot of exposure uh, it has given uh, uh, you know a lot of value to uh, the brand which i'm trying to build and uh, you know he, the, the the team is very amazing because uh, they ha- they they really provide a lot of support to help uh, uh, you know us to come and set up the booth and present ourselves and uh, you know conduct interviews which gives us better reach yeah definitely i'm so glad that the expo is beneficial to you now thank you so much yeah. for your time thank right thank you. you so much thank you yeah.